Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to this episode of Subs Choice, the series where you decide what I fly out by leaving me your requested planes in the comments below. Today we are flying out the G8N1 in the Japanese line, 5.3 battle rating, requested by Gesso Sabi if I pronounce it correctly, I butchered it name probably, but uh, he requested it a long time ago. The last episode of Subs Choice was more than a year ago and uh, I've been neglecting this series for a long time. I'm planning to bring it back full swing now with uh, regular episodes where you can, you know, directly request me what I will fly out. So here you decide what I fly out and I will try to deliver that within a week or two, maybe three. So more regular episodes of Subchoice are coming again. Let me know in the comments what you want me to fly next. So this Japanese Death Star, what is this plane about? 5.7 battle rating, great guns, looks great, bomb loads as with all Japanese planes, nothing too spectacular there. But uh, let's take a look at this plane. The maximum speed in this plane at sea level without web is 458 kilometers an hour and with web 475 at 4500 meters she'll go up to 416 without web and 428 with and finally at 6500 meters she'll go up to 380 without web and 396 with web now this is a fast bomber you will notice when you well not the speed bombers not the german speed bombers the the ju 288 and the ju you know those those jus <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the second name, but uh, they are fast and they are uh, faster than many other planes. But this massive bomber is quite fast and you will notice it when you're flying uh, with uh, Lancasters and other planes. They, you, they just can't keep up with you. That's a fact. So she's fast in a straight line. Top speed in the dive also isn't too shabby. 647 before she red lines and 685 before she rips apart. Now that is quite decent but with any kind of roll rate too much or sharp turns or pull ups when uh, it's not a pull up it's making a loop of course <laughs> but you pull up uh, when you do that with too much speed she will rip her wings yep so she doesn't seem too sturdy control stiffening well she already starts off bad to be honest with the roll rate and stuff like that so and uh, it doesn't lock up too quickly but eventually it does but uh, it becomes quite atrocious quite quickly the roll rate and stuff like that so you really don't want to dive in a bomber anyway that's the conclusion and this one isn't too good at that when it comes to bombers so he's not spectacular I, th I think she's subpar in that department the stall speed is actually quite good with 140 kilometers an hour and um, that is actually quite nice see in the vertical she's quite decent she also has a, a good climb rate we should be surprised or not but you can climb at 15 percent which is uh, quite good for a bomber and she uh, holds a regular speed right up there to uh, 6500 meters well you sometimes have to adjust a little bit probably when you end up at 6500 meters you're back at 12 and a half maybe 11 percent maybe even 10 but um she does quite well and she can climb a long way up uh, at 15% which is uh, well she climbs and that's good for a bomber this as I said uh, the firepower is actually excellent you have quite a few excellent turrets you have three double 20 millimeter type 99 model 2 mark 5 cannons with uh, 300 rounds for two of the turrets only the bottom turret has only 200 rounds per gun uh, you then also have two double or two single uh, 13 millimeter type 2 machine guns with 300 rounds per gun and one double 13 millimeter type 2 with 200 rounds per gun so she is you know she is stacked with with good turrets the only problem is that she's not very sturdy and you have to keep an eye on your um, ammo consumption. That's definitely a fact. Ammo load is uh, is good when it comes to that. Now, as a bomber for the performance, the straight line performance uh, in the acceleration is average, and in a dive, it's slightly above average for bombers. 
The energy retention in the horizontal is average, but in the vertical it seems decent for a bomber. As he doesn't hold speed, he has a, quite a bit of drag here and there. But in the vertical, I don't know man, it's because of the strength of the engines probably. But it feels very nice and it comes to decent for, uh, for a bomber. Climb rate, as I said, is good. You can definitely turn... Um, <laughs> or not <laughs> you can definitely not that's what i wanted to say turn in this plane this is not a very maneuverable japanese bomber and they do have a lot of maneuverable bombers in the early lines but uh, the turn rate in this plane really is atrocious and then if you use flaps it's bad just plain bad but with <laughs> but it's atrocious without flaps he really doesn't turn that well Flaps rip off uh, as well quite quickly, already with uh, 380 kilometers an hour, which is, um, well, it's early I would say for the speed she can handle. Uh, roll rate, she can roll, but I if you're not careful you will snap the wings off. I tried to roll three times, I ripped off the wingtips two times out of three, so that's not a good record when it comes to rolling. And in most bombers you cannot even f make a full roll, but in this one you can, but then when you come out of it and you have to adjust, you often snap your wings as you try to stabilize the plane. So be aware of that. <laughs> be careful. The maneuverability in the plane is bad in the end. He doesn't turn very well, and although she can roll, she does not roll um, without damage. Because as you adjust, you will often snap off a wing, which is never good. Now you can... Uh, potentially land on one uh, snapped wing but um, it doesn't suit you well in the in the flight back and in uh, potential defensive maneuvers against enemy fighters now she also overheats quite a bit overheating is very present especially with the web usage but it is definitely manageable and the durability in this plane is just overall plane bad it doesn't take damage well he doesn't fly well with damage. It is not a bomber that likes to be uh, peppered with uh, with bullets. Bullets, unfortunately. Um, and uh, that is something a bomber definitely needs. Now, I was still getting used to the aim of the guns. Um, getting it in there again for the, for the gunnery, you know. Uh, we do get a crit here. Hopefully, it would have been better if we got a, a kill there, but unfortunately not. We're a little bit too low here when we get a little bit better with the aim we do shoot him down you have 20s all over the place uh, as said but we are now heavily damaged and we lost most of our gunners except the front gunner so yeah we got peppered <laughs> and if you get peppered in this plane there is some armor plating in the plane for so-called protection but it, sometimes it feels like those uh, plate plates are um you know, for those paper Japanese slide doors that they have in their buildings. It feels like that because it doesn't seem to help very much. But um, yeah, oh well, we lost all our guns in that in that account encounter. The 20 millimeters definitely are good guns and you can definitely wreak some havoc with them. But sometimes they also give you crits where you might expect uh, a destroyed plane. It's unfortunate, but uh, maybe it's just my gunnery that is still in the works. That is definitely effect <laughs> well this plane guys how would you use her it definitely is a base bomber and um, columns is difficult because you only have three bombs with 800 kilogram bombs now those have some reasonable splash damage but you know the, they nerf the splash damage of bombs a few times so that's not very handy against um, columns also, from altitude you have quite a big risk and you don't want to get low too quickly with this plane. Because she is so very vulnerable, she is not a very sturdy plane, There is that is definitely a fact. So I would use her for base bombing and then try to get a few aircraft while you're at it. And I'm sure if you specialize in this plane and you get used to the lead of these guns on different, um, you know, distances that you can get much and much better than I flew the plane. But I still got a 1 to 1 kill death ratio and bombs on target pretty much every match. So 
uh, the plane can climb so you can get the altitude and from there bomb and then get back to base or slowly go lower and lower and get your uh, gunnery in get some extra kills hey guys so here we are after the match now the japanese g8n1 interesting plane uh, good guns but not very sturdy and uh, not fantastic in certain departments that i would love to have it a little bit better a little bit uh, on the touchy side when it comes to wing rips uh, but it is a fast bomber and she can climb and she has great guns so i guess there's a lot of advantages there don't look for bomb loads in a plane that is japanese uh, they had very limited bomb loads in their bombers so yeah that's limited but uh, it is a fun plane to fly and uh, i love those guns so uh, all good i guess guys uh, do make sure to leave me your request for the new episode in the comments below if you see one that you like make give it a thumbs up the choice with the highest amount of thumbs up will win and will be featured in the next episode Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.